How's it going, Forex traders? It's your truly Dapo Willis now, guys. Today, I want to talk about the Forex pairs that made me a lot of money in the Forex market. Yes, I want to reveal the secret to you guys today. What are these pairs that I like to trade that make me a lot of money? Now, I know a lot of you guys are coming into this game and you're a bit confused. What pair should I focus on? Uh, should I trade GBP, USD? Should I trade the majors, the minors, gold, S&P? The last time I checked, there were over 40 different, 40 different instruments to trade from. And if you're not careful, you will get extremely confused. Like it's too many things to do. So like I said, guys, I want to share with you guys the Forex pairs that I have actually made me a lot of money. And hopefully you guys can watch this and learn. And I'm not exactly trying to say you guys have to trade what I trade. Actually, I suggest you trade what I trade because it's the easiest thing to trade. But the essence of this is to basically guide you guys so that you know exactly what to be trading. The easiest pairs to trade and the pairs that are most likely going to make you a lot of money like they have done for myself. So all you need to do is sit your ass down. Don't go anywhere. This video is probably going to be about 15 minutes long. It's not that long. I don't really like to make my videos that long. So don't go anywhere. Sit your ass down and let's jump into the video. Let's go. All right, guys, before I do anything, before I start this video, smash the subscribe button right down there. We're growing the community. My name is Dapper Willis, for those of you guys who do not know, and I'm here to finally save the Forex trading industry because a lot of people seem to be losing money. Only 5% of Forex traders are absolutely are actually successful in this market, which is actually sad because the many 95% never actually get to make a withdrawal. So the essence of this channel is to save the day. So we're here to save the industry and I'm here to put out as much free information as I can. So very first thing, smash that subscribe button right there. There you go. All right, guys. So let's kick things off. Now, I want to break this down into um, the mind. Actually, I've written them down somewhere about here because I don't want to forget. I mean, I'm going to speak from my head, but I'm just taking down some bullet points. So if you see me looking down here, it's because I don't want to forget anything. So, guys, let's break things down into um, my favorite. Let's start with my favorites. Like th these guys. Anytime I look at these guys, and every time I click a buy or sell, I always make money. So let's start with the very, very best ones. So the very, very, very best Forex pairs, and I feel these are the easiest pairs to trade. And I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I feel like they're the easiest and the best trades, um, pairs to trade in a bit. But my favorites happen to be the Euro, GBPUSD, and AUD USD. You see, these three pairs, you can almost never get it wrong. Now, why is that the case? Okay, so the very first thing is what they call liquidity. Okay, liquidity is basically the amount of money flowing through the market. Now, you have to understand that Euro USD, GBP USD, and AUD USD are all US dollar based pairs. Now, for the fact that they have US dollars attached to them, simply means that obviously for those of you who are new to the market you guys probably know this or you probably don't know this the us dollar is the global currency now any forex pair that has a usd attached to it tends to have a lot of liquidity because it's the, the entire world is trading via us dollars now you take a currency like the euro you pair the euro which is a, which is the second highest traded uh, in, um, currency in the world you pair both of them together you have so much money going through this instrument as a whole so you secure usd the second is gbp usd and the third is AUD USD. so you see these three ones they have a lot of liquidity now how does this how does this make me money okay how does that Paul willis make guys you see the euro yeah oh my goodness 2014 i made that was my best trading year ever it was, the market was trending i made so how much did i make that year maybe i, I think i was probably 22 at the time 2015 this is 20 we're in 2022 at the moment. That was seven years ago. So it's 20. Whoa, whoa, I was 21. Guys, I made 250k pounds that year trading the euro. It was the setup was so simple. I'll get into that shortly. So, because of the fact that we have um, a lot of liquidity in these three pairs, liquidity simply means, like I said, money flowing through these pairs. Now, for the fact that there's a lot of liquidity it simply means that a lot of people are looking a lot of traders are looking at these pairs yes everybody is looking at the euro everybody's looking at gbp usd everybody's looking at aud usd 
Once again, how the hell does that help us? I'll tell you. Now, for the fact that everybody's looking at these three pairs, now you have to understand that the market moves based on mass human psychology. Yes, there's something called mass human psychology, meaning that um, if one million people are looking at a particular forex instrument, for example, and there's a particular resistance level, one million people are seeing it, one million people know it's the resistance level. So, one million people are going to sell at that resistance level. And if one million people are selling at a particular level, best believe the market is going to drop. To summarize why I like these pairs, everybody is looking at them. And for the fact that everybody is looking at them, it makes it easier for you to read the patterns. The market always puts in patterns. The patterns are easier to read. And for the fact that the patterns are easier to read, it makes people like me... I mean, I'm just there saying like, oh my God, this is a support. This is a resistance level. Let's go. Let's bang. Click, 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 click. It's a lot easier for you guys to interpret. And another reason why I like these pairs is, is, is for the fact that it is a lot more difficult for market makers to manipulate the market because you have to understand that there's a lot of liquidity. There's a lot of money in these pairs. So the market makers will need more money to manipulate those key levels, meaning that if you're trading these top three pairs, you're prone to less stop loss runs. Stop loss runs are basically when you've predicted the market, at a particular, you want to sell at a particular zone, and then you've hit your sell order, and then the market gets to your sell order, you jump into the trade, and then boom, stop loss. And then you see your stop loss gets hit and then the market now drops back down and starts heading in your favor. That is known as market manipulation. You see, with the majors, they're actually called the majors. Yeah, let's, let's, let's use the right terminology. With the majors, it is a lot more difficult for market manipulators to manipulate the majors. Why? Because there's too much money there. They don't have enough money to manipulate. And unlike those other pairs that I'm going to speak about later on, right? Where there's not that many people trading. But with these big boys, it's a lot more difficult. So you are in safer hands, okay? You are in safer hands to trade these pairs. Now, guys, another reason why I love these three pairs is because it is a lot is a lot easier for me to analyze. Now, you guys know me. I like to trade the top-down analysis, which I feel is the best way to trade the forex market. You see, because of the fact that the market respects major zones, the market moves from zone to zone, like it respects the key levels, it makes it easier for me to trade. Guys, let me explain something to you guys. In this game, we're not here to play who's the most intelligent trader. Ain't nobody, give a head. Ain't nobody cares about who the most intelligent trader is. Everybody cares about how much money we're making. So, our duty is to get in there and actually make money. So, I would look out for the easiest pairs to trade. I would look out for the easiest setups to trade. I'm not here to draw my lines to look like this or to look like... No, 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 no. I want to trade the most obvious setups. And trust me, guys, the euro, GBP USD, and AUD USD will give you the most obvious setups to trade. Now, guys, so that being said, what strategy can you guys then use to trade these three pairs that are the easiest pairs to trade. Now guys, for those of you guys who've been following me the longest, I put together um, one of the most realistic approaches to the Forex market ever. It's known as the top-down analysis. This is basically when I go on higher time frames and I anticipate thousands of pips into the future. And then I scale down to lower time frames and I trade in the direction in which the higher time frame has told me to trade. Now, this is very effective and efficient because the higher time frame always paints the picture. If the higher time frame is saying I'm going to go south, chances are that the lower time frame will always follow suit in that direction. So there's something called the top-down analysis, which I teach on the Forex Mastery Program. And for the fact that the Euro, GBP, USD and AUD, USD have a lot of liquidity, you're able to interpret these patterns a lot better, obviously, with the knowledge from the top-down analysis and the Forex Mastery Program. Now, for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the program and you're interested in equipping your mind to trade the easiest pairs possible and make a lot of guys, when I say it is so, once you learn top-down analysis, once you take the Forex Mastery Program, you will absolutely love the majors because for every move it makes, what you learn on the Forex Mastery Program is actually very applicable. So you're literally just going to be seeing every movement like, ah, 
even when the market is most likely going uh, going to be a losing trade i speak about how to anticipate losing trades on the forex mastery program on top down analysis you're like ah i know you i'm not going to trade you oh i know you this is going to be a home run so like i said the top down analysis actually helps you project thousand over one two thousand guys what am i saying gbp usd just fell a thousand pips yes like two weeks two three weeks before i recorded this video we did an analysis with the top down analysis and we projected over a thousand pip drop on the gbp usd even the euro usd as well and gold as well so guys trust me with the top down analysis if you combine the top-down analysis which what you learn on forex mastery program and these major pairs you put them together you will make so much money you won't even know what to do with it once again the link is always around here as well so much click here click the link down below grab the forex mastery program and you're good to go so guys let's go into the second aspect of the pairs that i like to trade so what's the next okay so it's about the euro AUD, usd gbp usd let's go over to the other pairs that i like to trade but i don't really trade that much let's go so guys the secondary phase of the forex pairs and instruments that i like to trade but i don't really trade that much is commodities right so I have the majors, which are my best. Once I touch them, I, 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 once I touch them, add my knowledge from top-down analysis and Forex Mastery program, put them together, oof, I'm right nine out of 10 times. I forgot to tell you guys um, how efficient that whole situation is. But aside from that, what is the next thing that I like, really like to trade? Um, gold, yes, without any further ado, let's give a round of applause for gold. Now gold, guys, gold, oof. 2018, I remember doing the top-down analysis for gold in 2018. Guys, I banked 5K, 2K, 7,000 pips over the span of what? Seven months, eight months? Yes, so if you prorate that, I was making 1,000 pips a month. And obviously, with the knowledge from the top-down analysis, I just simply went on a higher time frame. Um, I saw the head and shoulder pattern. Module 5 teaches you this on the Forex Mastery Program. I literally just saw it, waited for the neckline break, and bam, up. that's exactly how I projected 5K pips into the future, put my first position in, and then as market went in my direction, added the second position and cumulative, put them together, 7K pips. Now, why do I like gold? I just told you. It's easy to interpret as well. Let me give you guys a little secret when it comes to gold, right? If I when it comes to all these pairs I like to trade, you see me, I like trending games. These things I just told you about, it, to summarize everything, don't tell anybody, guys. It's a little secret. They like to trend. And when they trend and they pull back, the pullbacks always work. I'll give you an example. Let's say the market falls like this, whoop, and it pulls back, whoop. See the spawn when it pulls back? All you need to do is wait for it to start falling again. Sell, whoop. It's gonna drop nine out of ten times. If you wanna understand what I'm talking about more, top down analysis to teach you, grab the program down below. But that's by the way, simple. Once these pairs start to trend, you are going to make a lot of money. Now, another thing I need to warn you guys about is sometimes you can get into a trade with these pairs and the market might take a little bit longer for it to hit your target. This is exactly where you have to be patient. You have to be like, okay, you have to believe in your strategy. You have to believe in yourself. But guys, you see these pairs, they have never let me down. Gold, and one thing I really like about gold is when gold is ready to move, oof, gold can drop 500 pips in, in a day. Easy, as long as you're on the correct side of gold, okay? And what I like to do with gold is I like to catch what they call falling knives. Like I said, the market needs to give us some form of a commitment. Market come now, whoop, pull back. Now, these pushes need to be on like a daily time frame. I can't really go into detail here because I don't really have time for that. I said this video is going to be 15 minutes, it's already 40 minutes. Jesus Christ. Let's carry on. Anyway, so. Gold is, like I said, if you can get it right, you get your analysis right, you will make a lot of money from gold. Now, I have to warn you guys, one thing about gold, you see, I always talk about the advantages and disadvantages. One of the disadvantages of gold is if you are caught on the wrong side of gold, it's going to burn you. So you have to be really careful when it comes to gold and you have to calculate your 
your pips and risk management and everything you need to calculate it really well because the pip count on gold is huge and if you're not careful if you don't employ proper risk management you can actually have your entire account wiped away like this so ensure you do your you know your pip your i think what's the name of that calculator i use is on the forex mastery programs on the risk management module Anyways, there's a link on the Forex Mastery Pro. Forex Mastery Student, you know, I think it's under the risk management module. If you click the link, ensure before you ever trade gold, ensure to calculate your risk properly before you get into any trade. But that being said, gold is a fantastic pair to trade. It is my second best group of instruments to trade and i feel you guys should be trading them as well if you want to make a lot of money at the moment as i'm recording this video gold is ranging really badly but i can bet you once the breakout happens once the breakout happens we're good to go you make a lot of money from gold and guys see i'm just sharing all my pairs with you guys that i like to trade when you make money you better open the GoFundMe and give me some money because, guys, I'm giving you guys free gems here, okay? Free gems here. So, guys, after this, I'm going to talk about, okay, one last one. All right, guys, what, what's the last one? Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. I wrote it down somewhere. Ooh! I almost forgot this guy. The S&P 500. As you can see, I'm making my way from Forex to commodities. Now, we're into indices. Now, when it comes to S&P 500, I'm just going to be very straight with you guys. It's an index, right? They have, they have various other indexes you can trade. There's the DAX, there's the this, there's the blah, 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 blah. Over the years, 11 years worth of trading, I'll tell you, the S&P 500 is the easiest to trade. As with everything I've told you guys here, I'm giving you guys the easiest ones to trade because we're not here to act like we're the best traders in the world, although I consider myself the best trader in the world. However, that's not the point. I'm here to make money, okay? So as with everything I've given to you guys today, I'm talking about the easiest ones to trade so that we can go and leave this video and go make money on Monday morning, right? So, S&P 500. Now, what is the hack behind S&P 500? It's simple because the same strategies that you use for Forex, you can use for the S&P 500 as well. Isn't that really cool? Another thing I noticed about the S&P 500 is that it is always trending upwards. Yes. Forex Mastery students, if you go and watch the top-down analysis module on module 5 or 6, where I speak about obviously the top down analysis. Once you zoom out on the SP 500 to like a monthly and a weekly time frame, you would get you understand what I'm saying. Now, it is for the fact that it's always trending upwards, it's so simple. All you need to do with the SP 500 is wait for the pullbacks, okay? Okay, I can't share my entry strategy with you guys. But Forex Mastery students, you know what to do. Wait for the pullbacks into the trend line, okay? When it comes down, use the Willy Zone strategy, let it bounce. Mm, done and the good thing about the s p 500 is once you get into the trade you can hold this for a long period of time yes because the market is always trending to the upside even even when the market decides to retrace massively and starts to fall you would always notice i remember during um during the i don't think i can use the word um you know that 2020 when everybody had to wear like face masks and you know what i mean like you know you know what I mean, right? That that thing that came and everybody had to stay in the house. I can't use that on YouTube because they might ban my video. But during that period, right, the S&P 500 fell. Everybody was shouting, blah, blah. Guess what, guys? The S&P 500 fell. Everybody was shouting, oh, the, the, the whole world is going to a recession, blah, say, blah, say, blah, say. The S&P 500 fell. Guess where it fell into? Trend line and its major support level. Guess what happens, guys? When it came into that level, do you know what happened? It bounced back to the upside. I bought and then the market went and rallied. So S&P 500, even if it's coming down, it will still go back up. What do I have to, what does it simply mean for all of us? Just wait for it to retrace into major levels as it comes down, bounce it all the way, but, but bounce it back to the upside and then you have something like this. Like Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? This is S&P 500 for you. And guys, what year was that? I don't really trade the S&P 500 that much anymore because I like to focus on the major pairs. I like to focus more on Forex. But when it comes to the S&P 500, I feel like it's one of the most... If indeed you want to dabble with anything in this season or anything of that sort, I feel like um, S&P 500 is... Don't look, don't go any, don't go to DAX, don't go to... 
those Japanese in the Northern S&P is a lot easier, guys. Like I said, I'm talking about things that it that, that I'm talking about things that make it really easy for us to trade, right? I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, my computer just went off. Jesus Christ. Still recording. Anyways. I'm talking about things that, you know, will make our lives easier for us. I, I don't want to trade anything that's going to stress me or increase my blood pressure or anything of that sort. No, 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 no. The ones that will present the most obvious patterns. That's the summary of this entire video. So we started from Euro USD, GBP USD, um, Euro, GBP USD, AUD USD. If you check all my technical breakdowns, you see these are the pairs I really like to trade. Why do I? Because they present the most obvious patterns. It's easy, straightforward. If you use your, like, it's so simple, okay? Especially once you've taken the Forex Mastery program. If you haven't taken it, I suggest you get it. The link is going to be around here somewhere. With the Forex Mastery program, you can trade all these instruments, okay? Now, that's one thing. Secondly, um, no, no, no. What was I saying? Secondly, okay, let's talk about, give me a second, guys. Guys, as you can see today, I'm not really in the mood to, you know, give a very structured video. Today, I want to have fun. Not every time we sat here bashing charts, this, that, that. Let's actually have fun because, man, trading can be stressful. I'm telling you guys. Ish. 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 Too much stress. Now, guys, let's talk about the pairs that I don't really like to trade. I'm talking about the ones that I like to trade. The ones I don't really like to trade. You see, GBP AUD, run away. Euro JPY, run away. USD JPY, run away. CHF JPY, run for your life. Run. You see those exotic pairs, those pairs. You know why I don't like to trade them? Because we have low liquidity. A slow liquidity game, meaning that the market is up today, it's jumping up today, it's coming down today. Euro AUD, all those guys. I'm not really interested. Some people, I see people like to trade them. Happy for you if you're making money from it. If you claim, because I know a lot of people are not really making money in this game, but if you claim you're making money from those pairs, that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to say anything. But after 11 years, I've traded all of them. All of them. And I can tell you, those other pairs will stress you out. Stick to the majors. It's easier to interpret, especially if you're a Forex Mastery student. It's easier for you to interpret. Stick to them. Grow your account. You can trade those, all these other, these other ones, these exotic ones, but you know, reduce your risk here and there. And I don't know, guys. If you really want to trade, that's up to you. But stick to the guys that are the most that have the most obvious setup. CHF JPY run for your life. Uh, Euro JPY run for your life. GBP JPY. Mm. GBP, I remember when I used to trade GBP, JPY, but I was like, mm, GBP, USD, I prefer to trade GBP, USD because, like I said, the setup is a lot more. If I can trade GBP, USD, why trade GBP, JPY? So, guys, in summary of this entire video, if you are brand new to Forex and you're looking for the pairs to trade or you've been trading for a while and you're stressed out, please stick to the majors. I don't care how long it takes for your trading setup to form. I don't care how long it takes for your trading setup to happen. Stick to the majors because chances are that you will most likely make more money from trading them than you would make from trading other Forex instruments. Once again, I'm not here to argue with anybody. This is not an argument. I'm telling you facts from 11 years worth of experience. Anybody who wants to argue with this, bring your trading history, bring your trading statement over the last 24 months. I've been running this channel consistently for 24 months now. Uh, 24 months and then I have, what, 18 months worth of trading history on the channel as well where I come on here to analyze and break down the pairs. You can literally see my trading very transparently, okay? If indeed you know that those other pairs work, bring your videos. Let's see. Let's see if you've been able to consistent. Guys, you know I'm, I'm right 9 out of 10 times on this channel. And for those of you guys who've been following me the longest, you can testify to this. And the reason why I'm so spot on and I make a lot of money in this game is because I stick to what the, the most re reasonable and the most reliable pairs to trade, which are the majors, gold, and S&P 500. So once again, guys, that is my time. I don't have anything to share with you guys again. Watch out for my next video. I had a really nice helicopter ride. That's probably going to be the next video. It's probably going to come out next week. Um, so watch out for that video. Um, if you have any questions, drop me a comment down below if you found this video helpful. If you haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery program, I suggest you do so. The link is going to be around here somewhere. So once again, guys, take it easy. It's just truly that police and peace out.